So I want to talk very briefly about why someone decides whether or not they're going to refinance or not. You know, there's a lot of myths out there as it relates to, you know, whether or not your interest rate should decrease by a certain amount. Um, at the end of the day, you know, the three biggest reasons that I hear have to do with the fact that there are closing costs. And in Texas, because our taxes are higher than other areas, when you reestablish your escrow account, by the way, you get that back after you close. But when you do that and you combine it with the closing costs, it makes it appear as if your balance is going to increase um, so much that it appears a little bit scary. It might almost even you know, convince you to not do that um, because you know, the, the balance is going up. Right. So you, you're theoretically um, at that moment, you're losing equity. Now, unless you plan on selling the house immediately, then you didn't lose anything. You actually the property is going to continue to increase in value. Hopefully I can't make any promises. I do have a couple of crystal balls. They don't work perfectly. But in general, real estate is a good investment. So, and in our area of North Texas, you should see an increase, whether that's two, three, four percent year over year in, in property appreciation. Uh, second of all, if you were to make the same payment that you're making currently, then you have to take into consideration your behavior changed none. So you're making the same payment moving forward as you would do if you just said, no, this isn't a good idea. So the idea would be to compare those apples and apples instead of apples and oranges is to say, if I made the same payment on both scenarios, my current loan being option one, I've got 28 years left, I've got 29 years left, I've got 26 years left, whatever it is. In five years, that's all that matters. If you plan on selling the house in five years because your kids are going to move on to college and you're going to be ready to move on, whatever the reason is. If you sold the house in five years, which option gives you more profit if you change your behavior? Zero. So you make the same payment on both options and we look at the future equity value and see which one is more profitable. So that is the way that we want to tend to approach a lot of the refinances because, you know, unless you're selling the house tomorrow, the current equity that you have is really irrelevant. What you want to consider is let's assume that the property doesn't appreciate at all and uh, because you know we, we can't we can't use that crystal ball that doesn't work and see what the value is going to be if you make the same payment on the new option and if the new option is better than the current option which is what you have and you make more profit when you sell the home then the new option is better than the old and if the new option is not better than the old and the plan is to sell the house in you know four years five years ten years then you keep the old option it's just a matter of providing information and that's all we want to do is just simply give you the information so that you can make the decision yourself and I put together these series of videos so that um, so that we can really answer the questions that most people have and unlike purchases where we tend to have our clients come in and sit in front of us at, in the office um, on a refinance it's usually you know one party trying to relay the information to the other party so i'm hoping that that this series provides you the information that you need in order to explain everything that that i would ordinarily tell you over the phone if both parties aren't available to be on the phone if it's a joint decision okay so uh, hope this helps and then just call us if you have any questions i appreciate it thanks again bye